Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another Get This Looks video. Today's tutorial is going to be inspired by Jaclyn Hill. I decided to do this look because it was just really pretty and sultry, and it's like girly but still kind of sexy and you can also use this as another valentine's day look if you would like to so she looks super dewy and super pretty in this video so i feel like it would be pretty easy to create my entire eye look today is going to be done using my naked one palette from urban decay there's no like super special reason it's just because i don't think i use this palette that often i've had it for over a year now, so I'm going to use all of my eyeshadow and my highlighter shade is going to come from here. So, yeah, if you guys want to see which one I use for a highlighter, then just stay tuned. I'm flopping this everywhere. So let's just jump right into this tutorial and we will see what the end results are. So I am first starting off with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water just to hydrate my face. And I'm mixing that with the Cover Effects Mattifying Face Primer all in my T-zone so the makeup can last all day. Then I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm going to blend that out with this little brush that I got from Real Techniques. Once I'm done blending that out, I'm going to set it with that middle shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette that's called Lyric. So that, you know, the eyeshadow can easily slide on without it being all cakey. And then I'm going to move on to my face. So I'm using my Smashbox 15 Hour Wear Foundation today and I'm applying that with this... Um, foundation brush that I got from Real Techniques and right after that I'm going to blend everything out with a beauty blender so that it is all flawless and it has an airbrushed finish. I said flawless. <laughs> now I'm going to go on with my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the color 360 mocha just to contour. I'm going to contour my cheeks out, my forehead, underneath my chin to make my chin look a little thinner and up my nose. And then I'm going to pinch my beauty blender and blend it out with that so that it doesn't look like I have a super dark foundation on. I'm just going to blend that a lot. So then moving on to my eyes, I'm going in with the Naked palette and the first color I'm using is Buck. It looks lighter in the palette but once you put it on your eyes it's a really dark color and I'm just using this to deepen my outer V and my crease. Then I'm going in with Sidecar and I'm wetting my brush first and then I'm going to pack that on without rubbing but dabbing so that it can have this little foily effect. And then I'm going in with the color Sin and I'm putting that on my inner corner so that it can like brighten up my eyes and it'll just complete the eyeshadow look. And then I'm going ahead and blending all that out again with Buck, but I'm not getting any extra products. I'm just using the same brush. Then I'm going to go ahead and use my e.l.f. liquid liner to apply a, like a pretty dramatic wing, I would say. And then I'm going to finish my face, so I'm using this Maybelline Insta Adri Wine Concealer. I have a different concealer that I use, but I'm using this one so I don't waste it. And I'm putting that underneath my eyes, up my nose, my forehead, around my mouth, and underneath the contours of my cheeks. And then I'm also blending all of that out with my Damp Beauty Blender, making sure to switch sides so that there aren't any, you know, lines of demarcation or a great big contrast. So I didn't show it here, but I'm using my Airspun Powder to set um, under my eyes to bake. Um, I'm using like three or four layers of this, but since this isn't like the normal powder that I like to use, I'm not really going to leave it there. So once I'm done packing that under my eyes and everywhere else that I um, baked, I am going to just wipe that right off with this tapered brush from Real Techniques. Also, look at those faces I'm making there. Crazy. So now I'm going in with Shadow Play from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I'm setting everywhere that I contoured, um, including up my nose. And then I'm taking these Kiss Kiss Lashes. They're like new from Maybelline. They have this new um, technology that makes them um, layered, like the different lengths. It's so weird. I'll probably do a video on them, but they're really nice. I love them. As you guys can see, I keep playing with them. And now I'm using this e.l.f. blush in Mauve, and I'm just putting that all over my cheeks. I didn't want the blush to stand out too much, so I used more of a flesh-toned blush today. 
And I'm going with Sin from the Naked One palette also. It's the very lightest shimmery color. And I'm using it as a highlighter up my nose, on my forehead, um, on my cheeks, above my eyebrows, and just a tad bit on my Cupid's bow. And then I'm using this lip combination. One is from NARS. I have no idea what the color is, but I'm using that first one, the NARS one, to just basically outline my lips so I can see what I'm doing when I put on the liquid lipstick. And the liquid lipstick is from Wet n Wild and it's called Pink Perfection. It dries matte, obviously it's a liquid lipstick. And then I'm gonna spray my face with some Urban Decay and this is the completed look. That is the completed look. I did the best that I could with it. Again, thank you guys for watching this video. I do wanna stress that when I do these, get these looks, I found them on Instagram myself and I wanted to recreate them. But I'm totally open to you guys sending me things that I could do. So if you guys would like tag me in something on Instagram or screenshot a picture and send it to my DM or something, I'll be sure to look at it and I'll be sure to try to recreate it on my channel. It's not just about what I'm doing because everything that I'm doing on my channel is for you guys to see. So if you like this video, thumbs it up. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments and I will see you guys tomorrow on my next video.